good morning this morning we are going to be possibly replacing a leech field we have to dig up the box coming out of the septic tank first and see if the box is cracked up if we have to replace the box or if we have to replace the pipes coming from the box We get a flat, yeah. We get a flathead shovel. I'm already feeling something right here that's like half an inch under the soil. Ah, uh, okay. And then we'll just get the pickaxe and uh, pull them up. This thing does feel mighty loose though, the head of this thing. She made like a weird freak. It's definitely something right there. Yeah, that's some kind of a pipe. Oh, she's wide open. Yeah, that might be the issue there. Here, get the other, get the other one of these. That thing ain't good for digging. Yeah, I did to scrape this off, to scrape the concrete off. And get the axe too, because there's some roots over here. Out that root with the axe. Yeah, that sure is a hole there. Alright, we are back at the house and I gotta get that rock over there and load the dump truck up with rock. We need rock for our leach field around our pipe area. So I'm gonna go ahead and hook the uh, GoPro up to the machine and start loading them. Ethan's gonna go grab the fabric that we need to lay down before we put the rock in there and then put the new pipe. We don't have the pipe yet. We'll have to run and grab that. 
I just want to drop this machine off on the job site and then I'm gonna go rent a mini excavator to dig out the trench, dig out the pipe and dig the area for the new pipe. And then I will return the mini excavator and use the ASV to fill the hole back in. The hole that we make and to take out any dirt that's left on the job site. All right, back at the job. Time to get the old girl unloaded. And luckily, the mini excavator is right, right down the road. So I won't have to go far. It's literally a mile away. So that's nice. in the back and get out of here oh. E17C. guessing they're gonna need to park in the driveway when they come and do that I don't know for sure all right well I'm just gonna have him move somewhere on the street so the driveway's open okay. it smells like poo don't it yeah, no. for just did you see it your empty? pipe yeah I saw that for just having it empty yeah it's full again yep. well and we know why well I'm hoping I'll be here by 11 if he's not Michelle will be home in about a half an hour Okay. And then, because I want to make sure he empties both sides. Mm -hmm. And just, you know. Yeah. So, you guys may have to move that all for him. Yeah, that's but. fine. We already picked it up before. Yeah. <laughs> Is that full too? Yeah. We yeah. Can. Okay. Yeah. yeah. So, do you think you'll be able to hook up something to it? I yeah. I mean, I know it's old concrete. Yeah, we should be able to. There's still a pipe, a pipe in there that's, Is there? yeah, that, that we just I don't need, need to see that, it right now. yeah, that, when pipe that's that broken <laughs> i know <laughs> that pipe that's broken isn't connected to it there's like that much of a gap so yeah. it's not even flowing to that pipe to even get out where it's broken at so yeah so, but yeah we should be able to connect to the pipe that's in there we'll figure something out it's in the contract now it's written oh, it really? yeah written in the contract cool. the job sites will be filmed well at least you have evidence though too exactly and that's what i tell customers i'm like this shows that if I do anything wrong, it'll be on video. So, right. you can't really it's complain about protect, that. It protects them and you. Yeah, exactly. So, you don't care about these plants? If nope. I, all right. I'd like to keep those ones there. Well, yeah, I don't need to but touch those. The, Just these, these, these right here, I'm gonna have to touch those. I know. But you can do the other ones if you want. No, I'm gonna leave them. If you want them caught, I'll take them out while I'm here, but. I mean, but that's what I'm saying. Whatever you have to remove, remove. All right. I'm good. So, I sent Ethan to go grab some GoPro batteries out of the truck because my GoPro died 
and uh, he couldn't find them. They were hiding behind this Chick-fil-A bag. So uh, I just said, oh, I must have left them at the house. I didn't really go look. And I couldn't remember if I actually brought them or I left them in the um, 7-3 that we brought earlier. So I just had Ethan film some videos of me in the excavator uh, just digging down the line for the new drain field pipes. Um, this is a New Holland mini excavator. Never rented one of these before. Never been in one of these before. Um, it was set up at first with John Deere controls, and I'm more of a cat control guy. So everything was just backwards. And so uh, we went ahead, and luckily it has a, uh, you can change it to either one. So we went ahead and changed it to the uh, cat controls, and then life began to be a lot easier um so we were bringing out this drain field about 23 feet from the connector pipe which was about four feet out of the septic tank so in all the length is uh 27 feet but 23 feet of actually draining pipe that'll go in a rock um this isn't the first leach field we've replaced. This is something we started doing recently just because it's pretty straightforward process. I mean, it people, some counties and stuff will make it out to be rocket science, but it's not. Uh, you make sure you have a good slope going on it. And then like this drain field we're digging out now, there was no fabric laid in there or anything. It was just dirt mixed with rock obviously they filled it with stone before um, but when you fill something with stone and you don't put fabric around it dirt is just going to mix into that stone over time with rain and stuff like that so you're just going to have a dirt stone area and it's not good for draining you want it to be all rock so when we're doing these drain fields and also a lot of times in the old days they use perforated that black like thin plastic pipe we use pvc pipe you know pvc with holes in it so that's a lot stronger a lot better that black pipe just gets crushed very easily that's the stuff you can see in the video now that i'm digging out that's the old perforated black pipe that they used and this was the original leach field it's never been replaced it's from the uh early 80s so it was about due and the customer was having to get her drain field pumped, I mean, once, not her drain field, her septic pumped once a year. So there was obviously an issue with the drain field. We went ahead and looked in it, and the pipe coming out of the septic wasn't connected at all. There was like a foot gap between the drain field pipe and the septic. So we got her all dug out and uh, pretty impressed with this new Holland. It's a nice machine. I like it a lot. I like it more than those Hitachi uh, excavators. Um, I would say it's similar to a John Deere. Caterpillar is still my favorite. It's the smoothest by far. So when you're using an excavator, you really like to be smooth so i still gotta stick with the cat on the favorite excavator all righty we are back at the job i stopped filming with the gopro because my battery ran out and i thought that i left the batteries in the other truck this morning but it turns out they were just hiding so now i can start recording with the gopro again we got it all dug out got one more let's see if i can grab it oh, we got it all dug out and we put our fabric down so now we got to fill it in with some rock and then put our pvc pipes in but we're gonna get our pvc pipes ready real quick just to make sure that we're wide enough because i have to return that mini excavator before four o'clock and it's almost two right now
Orange Glad we found these pipes. Orange Glad. this inside the thing and see how far it sticks out. Yeah. But that needs to go like straight down, right? Yeah, like that. That will kind of work. That's how we need her. Okay. Do you wanna push that 90 down? It's stuck. Oh, that's whatever. That's fine right there, the way it is. You should be able to let her go now. It's gonna just yeah. It's not gonna fall out, it's just gonna move around. But... Yeah, it's fine. We're gonna put her in place once you put that tar in there. Oh, that's money. That's Dead middle. That. That's what I like to see. Good to me. Yeah. Good. Oh, sweet. All right, now I need to fill this all in with rock though first before we this area. fill it like at least that high before we put the pipes in. Yeah. Yeah. So you when I'm. Need to work on loading that machine. Yeah. Well, honestly, I need you to hold this hold this okay. stuff up though first. Here, just hold the tarp up first. Let me get some scoops all throughout it, and then you should be able to let it go, and it'll be fine. Let's go down to this far end now. 
I know. It's dusty, boy. Choo! How's it going? Hey. Yeah. Hey. What's going? On? Yeah, redoing the the leech field. Oh, okay, okay. Yep. Okay. Doing leech. <laughs> um, so we just do windshield replacement. No cost to the insurance. Um, so I don't know if you're riding around with a crack. I didn't really look or anything. Oh no. Yeah, it's good. good. Yeah, it's good. No personal vehicles or anything with cracks. No. Good. Hey, Ethan, you got any cracks? No. Oh, all right. Good. Good deal. You guys have a good one. Okay. Yeah, I appreciate it. You too. Thanks. Yes, all right. I'm gonna go return this new haul, and Ethan's gonna glue the rest of those pipes together going down. Whoa. Everything's running downhill, so that's good. I gotta return this mini excavator by four o'clock. It's 313. We're all good. It's right down the road. So that is nice. And then when I get back, 
we will start filling it back in with rock actually we're gonna put tar around the top piece first get that set and then we'll start filling it in with rock that's the plan there how'd it go Come on, water? Yeah. Same. It's the last water we got. So we custom created this thing that was there before. It was all broken and mangled. Created it out of PVC. Pops out, hits the 90, goes to a T, and then goes to two pipes. This house only has one bathroom. If I had two, we would do three pipes, but these two pipes will be plenty for that one bathroom. Uh-oh, so we just flush the toilet. I'll just start on the PVC area, try and just go around it. Clean up time. So we ran out of 57 rocks, so we're gonna come back tomorrow and fill the rest of it in, and then we can put some dirt back on top of it. And then we'll have some dirt that we have to take out of here. Oh, I gotta take that one out, don't I? probably not even in the ground anymore it's just sitting there. actually no it is I didn't even I dig that out yeah, no, you we'll take it out tomorrow let's go ahead and throw this thing back on oh, you want somebody to fall in a hole <laughs> that's a pretty far fall to be honest yeah it's a pretty nasty fall all right I will not let go until you say on three one here go lower yeah. too high one two three Smash my fingers. Yeah, right. Blink. Tell your mom, don't worry, it's not finished. Chill out. <laughs> it's so dirty. Hey, well, you guys can take your poops and peas, and you shouldn't have any issues with now. <laughs> It, it's it'll even though it's not covered it works right now yep. well it's even it's gonna take a while to even get there because your tra tanks empty now so yeah, you won't really even gallons. yeah you got a while before this thing even works <laughs> all right I'll see you all righty now I gotta go to Lowe's and return all the PVC pipe fittings that we didn't end up using. 
and then I'm going home. So I will see you guys in the morning. All right, we are back at the job. Ethan's dumping the gravel that we need. And I'm going to start unloading the skid steer. Get the rest of that gravel in there. Uh, you can put some dirt in there. And clean it up and we're done. It's just gonna be me working here today. Ethan's going back to the pool deck job that we just did. Yeah, and he is uh, going to clean up some stains from some stuff falling from trees because we got to seal that job. And we haven't been able to seal it due to the weather we've been having. And in that one week span, there's already been a bunch of droplings on the pavers. So. Well, this came loose already. got that in there that's enough rock around the pipe I'm gonna spread the rock out and then lay the fabric over top of it and then fill the rest of this rock on top of the fabric and then start putting the dirt in there all right so now I'm covering the top I wouldn't normally have to have a separate piece to cover the top but we did not make our walls long enough so we're having to use Another piece on the top here. Just like that. So now I'm going to set up a time lapse and fill all this back in and start taking out the rest of the stuff. I need to get some concrete to patch this hole that's underneath the pipe coming up. We patched the top with this tar sealant that they say you're supposed to use around this stuff, but uh, the hole on the bottom is like that big, so the sealant wouldn't cover all that, so I'm gonna have to concrete patch that.
All right, so now that I got all that filled in, cleaned up the driveway with the broom, I'm gonna go ahead and take the skid steer back to the house, drop off the trailer and the skid steer, and come back with a little bag of concrete, dig that out a little bit and concrete that piece that I was talking about. And then I'm gonna bring the hose so I can wash this driveway off. And I'll just rinse down this area too while I'm at it. So we're gonna go ahead and do that now. Got the skid steer all loaded up and I went ahead and rinsed off the driveway, get it looking better before I go drop the skid steer off. So I'm gonna go drop it off and then get my bag of concrete and be finished. Hello. Okay. You too, thank you. And that's how she was. I'm gonna clean up some of these roots. And then blow off, not blow off, wash off the driveway right underneath where the dump truck was. And that'll be it. I'm out of here. And that's Friday, a good Friday. Thank you guys for watching, and I will see you in the next one.